No One Refuses Me a More Cadenza by Zamariak. <sighs> No one refuses me a more cadenza. It was a little after sunrise, and in a conveniently abandoned room, a room that used to be mine and Shining's before I divorced his anti-snuggling behind, there was a very stubborn, yet undeniably attractive human tied up on a bed. An undeniably attractive, naked human tied up on a bed. He was so stubborn, but now his time is up. He's mine. It had been a little over a year since we first met, and a little under four months since I'd divorced Shining Armor. Turns out that my dream of a perfect prince had been just that, a dream. It was fantastic when we had married a few years ago, but as time went on, I had quickly realized that Shining was not the perfect stallion I'd fallen in love with. For not a mere two years after we married, he actually stopped accepting my snuggles. And when he stopped accepting them, my love for him quickly began to wane. I am the princess of love. Snuggles are as necessary to me as breathing. But then I met Adam, a brave man that had survived outside of the Crystal Kingdom for a fortnight, in the cold without any warmth and barely any sustenance. Shining had left me long before the time I met him. So after meeting and taking him into my castle. It was with no shame that I began to nurse him back to health. We became good friends quickly, as did he and both my aunts, though Twilight has yet to show any emotion towards him but disdain. Then again, she's yet to look at me with anything but disdain too, so maybe it's just what her face looks like nowadays. Adam said it looked like a smacked ass, which while funny, deserves some punishment. So I smacked his ass like he was a naughty cult. He enjoyed it, whether he wanted to admit it or not. Celestia's teats, even I enjoy a bit of spanking every now and then. Perhaps going so long without any snuggles wasn't the best of ideas. Sure, I didn't want to snuggle a stranger, but times can get pretty desperate when I go into withdrawal. So after a few failed attempts, I asked Adam if we could snuggle, but he refused firmly. Shining had refused, that cross-dresser in bar 69 had refused, and even Dusty, my close and personal servant, had refused. But oh no, there was no way in Tartarus I was going to let my best friend refuse. He had not accepted a single snuggle from any pony, not a one. So after a few hours of intense thought, I came to a very clear conclusion. Adam needed to be snuggled, whether he liked it or not. Thus why my dear friend was currently tied up stark naked to a bed and by the looks of things he was just about to awaken. It was time. I watched with savage glee as Adam opened his eyes, blearily blinking in an attempt to rid them of sleep. Wh where am I? He croaked, looking around the room. I let out a very light cough to draw his attention and draw it I did as his eyes filled with fear, quickly snapped onto me. Hello, my sweet Adam, I crooned lovingly. How was your nap? C cadence he stammered. What's going on? Why am I tied up to this bed, naked? I ignored his cute little questions and instead began to make my way over, running my hooves along his left leg as I did so. Do you want to know something, Adam? I asked sultrily. He looked at me warily, but nodded, and thus I cleared my throat and began to explain away. I've recently come to a very startling conclusion. My scrumptious looking friend, you have been without any personal contact since the moment you arrived. And I have been without any personal contact since well before that. 
And upon realizing this, I came to a very cuddly solution. Without any warning, I fluttered off the ground and on top of my delightfully smooth friend. Friend, <laughs> not for much longer. I, I continued, am going to snuggle you like you have never been snuggled before. And you, my beautiful friend, are going to lie back, relax, and enjoy every snuggly moment of it. W what? He sputtered. Cadence, no, I don't want to be snuggled. And if you were my friend, then you'd accept my decision. I grinned. <laughs> I giggled. But that's where your argument falters, for I am not your friend. Not anymore. Now, I am more than that. And by more than that, I mean your snuggling buddy. And by your snuggling buddy, I mean the one and only bear you are ever going to give every ounce of your love and tenderness to for the rest of our lives, understand? He blinked, slowly. I need an adult, he whimpered. I am one, I counted. Now, let the snuggling begin. I wrapped my hooves around the back of his neck, pressed our lips together, and began to snuggle him senseless. No! Actually, this feels quite pleasant. Five hours of snuggly goodness later. Adam, now untied, was breathing heavily as he looked up at the ceiling his body tired, bruised, and thoroughly snuggled. As for myself, I too was completely satisfied. My wanton craving for snuggles was finally quenched, thus saving the very spirit of what could have been an innocent soul. Of course, Adam was innocent too, but the snuggles cried out for him, and so snuggle him I did. I am both really aroused and utterly confused. He spoke up suddenly, turning to face me. I thought we were going to have sex, not snuggle the breath out of each other for five odd hours. Sex? I asked curiously, putting a hoof to my muzzling contemplation. Oh, so that's why you were so stubborn. Well, yeah, he chuckled, brushing his forehead lightly as he breathed a sigh of relief. Guess I had nothing to be worried about after all. The Snuggling was quite nice, and I'm glad you stripped me for it. Fur on skin is a nice sensation, though the kissing was unexpected. I guess you like me, huh? Quite so, I giggled. Perhaps we could go out and watch a movie later. Are you asking me on a date? Be a more cadenza? Maybe, I drawled slyly. Then sure thing, I'd like that. The next few minutes were spent in comfortable silence, broken only by the occasional nuzzle and kiss I gave him. Adam? Yeah? Have you ever heard of a struggle snuggle? Holding your breath still, you jump the fire, will just sit and wait till. Before I see 